Uh, Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What do we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. Hey, welcome back, basement dwellers. <laughs> um, uh, Bowser's in the middle of shutting, shutting all up those everybody people. up. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around it, don't you forget it. The more I hear something cut out of my old car, all around the dance on the and it came up, you know! So was my right here. Okay, so what you may have missed in the garbling, random, you know, garbles of oh, what Peter please, was saying. Oh, please, they got it all. I'm the perfect enunciator. And you weren't quick enough of a reader, because, say, you're my six-year-old son, Micah, who's really enjoying the series. Ugh. King Koopa Bowser yep. was uh -huh. kicked out of his castle by the giant magic sword. We thought that King Koopa was still there, but apparently he got kicked out. Opa. So he's trying to get back in, and he's embarrassed that Mario would ever find out that he got kicked out of his evil yeah. castle, his evil lair. He doesn't want that to be the case Ooh, at all. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? Well, there's a couple of kids trapped in here, it seems. I know the bad news that star fell out of the mountain. Sure enough, it's causing trouble. A star? Star, 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 we falling want, from the sky. We want stars. We want them in our oh. own cars. <laughs> did you find a secret? Oh, no. Uh, I thought maybe you did. Secret, secret. You found a secret. Okay, star dropping start the mountain and some trapped some kids, kids inside. inside. You gotta like, help us. Gotta help us. I was really hoping that we'd be in tandem for that entire little bit of dialogue. <laughs> we got off a little bit there. What's happening up there? Yep, so the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Okay. So, basement dwellers, I live in an apartment building. That's right, Ted. And, uh, you know, it's cozy. There's five of us, and it's, you know, starting especially with the summer and stuff like that. Like, and, and six year old boy. Five? Four year old boy. How many roommates you got? Oh, four. your kids and stuff. <laughs> it gets a little, it's, it's cozy, you know? And, uh, anyway, today. I didn't mm -hmm. tell you this, Peter. You, mm -hmm. This is we went uh, looking at some houses. Nice. Yeah, we're kind of excited. We're kind of starting to to think about you know where we would want to live and what we're kind of looking at. And here's here's kind of my thought. Like, I want to live somewhere where there's enough space inside where we can have like 20, 30 people over at a time. Because of what I do, I want to be able to have a bunch mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. It's way better for us to be able to have a large group over, you know, once a month. Then yep. try to have like one family over every, every weekend. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That sounds rough. Um. So anyway, uh, we did that, but then uh, we were looking at like townhomes today, and we're like, oh, this might not work very well because there's not a ton of parking. If you want to have twenty people over, oh it could be yeah, really, really you kind of need like a there's like nowhere. a yard for everyone to park. Yeah. In. So one place that we looked at. All right, let's go in. Is like. Uh, it's an older house, like built in the 70s or whatever. Uh huh. And it was decent space, like a pretty big yard, which was kind of like, ugh, because we don't really do like doing yard work, but at least there's no right. evil hills. Yeah, to, you had an evil to, hill in your last place. Oh, it was demonic. It was so evil. <laughs> oh, nowhere fast. We'll never reach these kids. Anyway, uh. Ooh, old entrance to mine. We, uh. We're looking at that house. We're kind of liking it a little bit. We're going to see what kind of what happens a little bit more with it, but. Thing is, went inside, like new carpet, new a lot of stuff. It was like real nice. We went inside and smelled a little bit of mildew. Mm. And we we're kind of worried that like maybe there's like a crack in the foundation or something. So like water is oh, seeping yeah. in, maybe. So if we do move forward on that one at all, we're definitely going to get an inspection and see if there's stuff. I mean, I think it's always wise if the house is older than like 10 years yeah. to get an inspection because yeah. you don't want to accidentally buy a project. No, yeah, you're right. You want, and you want to, like, have somebody that you know that, like, is willing to help and knows how to do stuff say, oh, you know, this is something a lot of people are afraid of, but it's actually not, wow, these guys are tough. Yeah, like, high defense. Not too bad. Um, you know, what kind of things it is, because, like, like, we got a friend, uh, Lon Lane, he yeah, knows everything about rocks. everything, and he might be like, oh, yeah, that's, I mean, it takes a bit of work, but I gotta... I got a super uh, Megatron tool sander blaster, and that'll take care of that in a minute. That's totally. That's a, that. Most carpenters, most general Ooh. contractors have a super Megatron sander blaster. Want to double your coins? There. Ooh, okay, let's you double pick. them. I'm not even gonna look. Oh gosh, I didn't look. Uh, middle still. Oh! oh! Correct. <laughs> I had a one and three shot. That should say lunch. correct, not right. Yeah, because wow, the one we on the right our coins is right. Two to four. Uh oh. The one on the left is left. Uh oh. Whoa! That 
what are those called again? Boba, bobolas, bobas, bobas? I don't know, but they're scary. What are the fire things that go up out of the ground? Papad, papados? Yeah, they're like papa blues. Oh, oh there's look at the kid. Oh. oh, was that a kid? I don't know. There's just a little Ew. red, a uh, little blue toadstool head guy. Whoa! Is that like a winged pig head with multiple eyes? And it turns into like a bazillion little pig heads when it does stuff. Oh, Ew. that's Mario gross! Where'd you come up with these ideas? I know it's it. This game, it's like it's very Mario in the beginning because there's like, oops, there's like. Koopas Plus and Koombas and, and like, and, yeah, all the like, normal jumps. things. Or like Mario's first weapon is a hammer, which is Jumpman's weapon in Donkey Kong. Yep. <laughs> wow, good job remembering that song. Um, but then eventually it just kind of gets like weird, like RPG. <laughs> you sound like um. There are rare items hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm gonna sell someone in town. I'm in it for the I'm money. I'm in it for the money. Who are you? I'm in it for the muns, bro. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and drop down here. Oh, see, the arrow's telling us to go that way. We're in what it is, to what save the planet, oh, this you selfish nothing. jerk. Captain Planet, he's, he's a hero. <laughs> gonna take pollution down, down to zero. zero. Earth, wind, <laughs> fire, water. Let's see how far Go we can get. Planet! Oh, heart. I forgot about heart. We heart. heart is not an element. Oh my gosh, it makes my wife laugh and laugh and laugh when it's like heart. All the different elements and then heart. <laughs> like it doesn't fit in. Oh, like he should have oh. he should have named he should have his power should have been animals, because that's what it was. Mm. The whole idea is he, he could the control animals. the animals. Mario, you've come to save us? One problem is the dead end. We need a bomb to blast through here. I think you could find one. We could find a bob a bomb. A sure, bob -bomb. Bomb. Excuse me while I slowly. Oh, I there found it one. is. Follow us. Um, he wasn't there before. Do I get? Do you have to kill him to uh, get it. I don't actually remember. Like, do I get him to chase us or something? I feel like if you run, maybe maybe it'll work. Hmm. Well, you didn't get a bomb. It didn't say like you got a bomb. I think we probably just have to take oh have to take the other path. Okay. So that was a bit of a dead end. But what? There's another way to go down here. <laughs> what? Yeah, right here. So we can go this way. I can go that way, or this can be a thing. I don't know what this is. Hey, question basement dwellers. Uh oh. Would you ever want to watch us play a really, really, really hard game <gasps> but not fin finish it? Whoa! Croco! Wait, he's supposed to be a mobster. Oh, he's robbing us. What? He uh oh, took he the took coins. the coins. Those croco, get the coins back. Okay. What my question was, Basin Brothers, would you, would you want to see us play a really hard game and maybe not even finish it, or using like save states or something? If you know, we had to, we had to do that, or would you just rather not even see that? Let us know, cause I have a couple of games in my brain that I think would be kind of fun to do, or at least look yeah. at. But they're like too hard to beat, and but, normally like, we try to beat the One of them the is known play. as like the hardest game on the NES. Oh gosh! Don't even tell me which one it is. Although I, I have was a telling guess. you a little bit earlier about the game. Does it rhyme with rattle gloads? No. Multiplayer. It's, it's notoriously harder than that game. Ooh, brutal! Double yeah. experience points. You want to do it? Yes. Do it. Experience. All right, you pick. Is it double or nothing? Yeah. Wait, no, it's no, double no, or nothing or same. Only. Oh. It's just random. It doesn't actually uh, matter right. if you see it. Oh, wrong. wrong. See, the one on the left is clearly marked right. That's incorrect. <laughs> That's down. Oh. Whoa. Dead end, not to worry. I've got a bomb. Never, Never leave, leave home, home without, without one. Okay, oh, so we yep. probably had to make that happen. So now we're going to fight Krako and get a bomb. Fight Krako uh, again. We already fought him in this game. I know, but he ran away because he's a total wimp. Can you say recurring enemy? I can. Recurring enemy. Ah! I wanted... Dang it, I messed it up, Peter. I only wanted I to know if you I could. said em and enema. <laughs> you did? <laughs> I think I accidentally said recurring enema. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that was great. 
All right, we're gonna do the. Let's see if the old fire trick works again. Sometimes he puts out the his uh, tail in between turns, and that takes his turn. Yeah. When it's his turn, it'll just one, say one, he's putting out a tail. Let's see what. One time, Peter tried to make me laugh. He, he was trying really, really hard. He said like ten, ten puns in a row, trying to make me laugh. Six twenty. But no pun intended. Oh yeah, no. It was bad. Okay, he's got six twenty. Let's play a math game. 620 minus 49 equals uh, 571, right? You I... double check my math. Minus 51 equals Me 520. double check your math, Peter? You're like, you double check my math. Okay. Or your own math, because... Oh, now I forgot where we were. Where were we, dwellers? 520? That sounds right. Oh, look, now we're down to 500. That's perfect. Cool, so he's got 500 XP, HP left. All right, Gino, finger shot. Yeah, let's see what you got with the finger shot. 468. Uh, 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 396. You gotta take me down first. 398. Something like that. What do you just take? He keeps taking stuff. Stop taking our stuff. Oh, we took all the items. That's not good. You need those for healing. Ah, we'll yourself. get them back. Okay, it's time to HP rain. Make it rain. I was gonna use the HP. mushroom, but oh well, this will do. I don't know if this is a timed thing, like if you can get more. Oh wow, 81. <laughs> Shop. Ooh, he's got a chain chop. What? Ow. He just threw a mushroom at you. Why it should have been a chain chop. Yeah, why is that called chop? I don't know. Maybe don't they're... know. Oh, what some are we angry, down to? What do we have? Four, some angry game programmer was like, <laughs> there, there's never enough time and they're always making me program stuff. How about this? When they ask for a chop, I'm gonna put mushroom in there because I'm so angsty. Now it just did one damage. Wow. That's brutal. Time to use the old uh, thunderbolt instead. I I don't even. Oh, I should have done fire attack. Well, no, 70s is a pretty strong attack. That's good. 70s yeah. good. 70s is like a really nice day in, in Fahrenheit. <laughs> hey, in Fahrenheit. Basin dwellers. It'd be fatal in Celsius. Where you're from? Do you use Celsius or do you use Fahrenheit? Ooh, I've got. Let a, us know. I've got. Yeah, that's a great. Or a Kelvin. Wait, do people use Kelvin? I don't know. Uh, well, scientists. <laughs> uh, huh, well, currently, right now, I'm using uh, Kelvin. Because huh. he's watching the basement in his science lab. <laughs> hey, I've got nothing better to do. I'm just waiting for this stool to cure. Because <laughs> I'm a stool sample technician. Uh, I check out the stool samples. I see. Actually, I used to know a lady who that was her job. Like when you go to when you go and they're like, "Hey, we need to take a stool sample," and you poop in a thing yeah. at the doctor. Yeah. And somebody's got to dig through that. That That's was her true. job. Like a crappy job. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like the lady in. Oh, we got a bomb! Woohoo! Like the we lady in the Jurassic bomb. Park in the Stegosaurus. She goes elbows deep in that in that poo. She wants to figure out why he's sick. I don't see under. I didn't know why she had to go so deep in it, and she never figured out what it was. Remember, she was thinking maybe it was the berries. Oh, I don't remember. Whoa! And they were. Oh, maybe no. I think she did figure out that it was probably the poisonous <laughs> berries that were not indigenous, and they added them. Not really. It was just kind of like more. It was just proof that the scientists didn't really know what they were doing. They were just throwing random species of things in. What? It's okay. I'm talking to the basement dwellers. This yeah, way. I was trying to focus not on the listening. Maze. <clears throat> it's all right, man. You guys like Jurassic oh, Park? Jurassic right? Park is such a great right, movie. Dude, such a wrong turn. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 what? Da, 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 what Jurassic da, da, Park sequel could you live without? Da, 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 and which Jurassic Park sequel do you think was the best? Da, 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 Leave a comment below. Does Jurassic World count? Jurassic World does count as a as a sequel. Yes. That would be my favorite sequel. There are no prequels that have come out yet. Um. I, but boy, picking a worse movie out of two and three, that's tough. I think I've only seen them each once, but I do remember both of them being not good. I got two from my aunt for Christmas. Oh, which one? Lost like? World. I got it on VHS, and I was really excited because that was like the first intense movie that Whoa. I owned as a kid. And I think it was like 13 or 14. I think I can't remember if it was PG thirteen or PG forty. Ooh, a green coin. What's that worth? That's a frog coin. Oh yeah, that's right. You could right. buy things that you can only buy with frog coins with that. Boy, I couldn't go that the way. Tadpole music. Or place. I had to do it differently. Ooh, well, look at all these more bombs. bombs. Man, what are we gonna do? These bombs are rough. What are we gonna? Whoa. Yeah. Speaking of rough, 
Remember that time that we went just a little bit late on the episode? That's okay. Hey, basement dollars, next time we're gonna continue in this mine. Ah, 15 minutes is perfect. Yeah, I agree with that. Thank you so much, Basement Dollars, for hanging out with us and watching and uh, commenting. Man, if you got any things that you'd like to see us play or do on the basement, just leave us a comment below. We'll, 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 we'll at least entertain the ideas a little bit. Yeah, Until we read those comments. Of course, we respond to pretty much every single one. Well. Thank you again so much for everything that you do, and till next time, Basement Dollars, we think you are more electrifying than... Um, that one time that I dropped the extension cord into a plate of jello that hadn't cooled enough to become gelatinous yet, so it was still liquid, and uh, it was electrifying. In, In the, the basement. basement.